Hello folks, I am here today, you guys probably don't know me because this is my first video on this channel. Uh, you can call me Bat Guy. Uh, my name is Tristan. Uh, welcome to the Bat Tube. And no, that's uh, no Batman's Tube. This is the Battery YouTube channel. I just made that up on the spot. Sounds good. I like it. Let's stick with it. Alright, so we got a couple batteries here. Uh, the Valance Specials. Mine is this one. This one is actually a Powersonic rechargeable battery. It's another lithium iron phosphate battery. It's uh, similar to all of the Valance batteries, but uh, with a better price tag on it. Now, with uh, less functionality at the same time. But uh, I haven't actually looked too much into this battery, so I don't exactly know what the functionality of this one is. But I have some repairing to do because the communications cable was twisted and it was in the M12 connector. It's an M12 um, male connector. So all the pins, someone took the M12 female connector, twisted it, and broke all the pins except for the center pin. So I had to somehow pull this out and replace it. But when I look at it, I believe this might be potted underneath this. So I don't even know if I can fix it without destroying this battery. But, uh, anyways, besides this, I want to talk to you guys about all of these Valance batteries. Uh, let me grab a seat. So this is the majority of all the Valance batteries. Uh, mind you, there's different sizes. So what I mean is, these are all the U1 size standard. U1, U1, uh, U1, as well as U1. So um, that is what the size standard is. I don't know. I don't know who's in charge of that size standard. But anyways, there's a U1. There's also a U27, a U24, uh, with the XP series, there is a UEV-18 XP. Uh, I don't know exactly what size that is, but uh, upon looking in the manual, that's what I've seen. So those are the sizes. Now the RT comes in the U1, the U27, as well as the U24. Uh, now it also comes in a, I believe it's a, a U1, it's the, the RTL. Uh, it's a 20 amp hour. It's a smaller battery. I don't know if it's a different size standard. But um, anyways, yeah, there's a couple different sizes. But for the most part, there's all of the different models here. And there's actually two application specific models I have here. So this is one of them. And this is. So the two main models that Valance made was the RT series and the XP series. Now, uh, this is the EU charge. I think they're both U charge. I don't know. They, yeah, U charge, uh, U charge, quote unquote. So, uh, yeah, I don't know which one we want to start talking about. So the most common one is probably the RT. So this is the standard um, drop and replacement for an SLA. Uh, it can be used in a 48 volt uh, configuration maximum. So if you have the U1 12 RT. Uh, you can put it four batteries in series because they're 12 volt battery. If you have the 24 volt version, so that would be the U27-24 or whatever the model name is. It's uh, after the dash. See how it's a uh, 12 after the dash on each and every one of these. So that's the voltage. Uh, so the naming is the size standard dash and voltage uh, as well as the model name. So uh, if you have the 24 volt RT, you can only series two of the batteries together. And if you have the 12, you can do four together in 48 volt configuration. So this one has the BMS and everything built into it. So all of the balancing and all of the intramodule balancing is all taking place inside of this battery. So you can connect daisy chain, the uh, multiple batteries that you have in series together. And then at the end of your uh, daisy chain, you put the 120, I believe it's a 120 ohm resistor to terminate the ending. So that's the RT. Uh, that's the most common one. 
that you see. It's a drop and replacement. You don't need to buy the separate beam mats, but it's limited to a 48 volt configuration. I don't know if you can parallel them. I'm not sure. I don't know why I didn't look at that. I apologize for not looking at that. So I'm, I don't know if you can actually parallel the RT series, but if you have a look in the manual, that should uh, help you out. I've provided all the manuals I could in the description below. Uh, I couldn't get all of the revision one and two manuals for all the models, but I did get a manual for both the RT model and the XP series model, except the revision might not match the one that you have, but the mo the uh, the manual for the model should uh, it should work the same for both the revisions for the most part. Mind you, the wiring the wiring diagrams will be different because the revision two uses the super seal, and the revision one uses the M12 connectors. So, moving on to the XP series, what you have, actually, so first, let's move on to this RJ, because, uh, so the RJ is an application-specific RT, so it was made for uh, medical carts, medical carts with a computer on it, uh, pretty much, so it probably would have powered an inverter, uh, which the computer would have been plugged into, and I'll post a picture on screen right now. Of what those little carts look like so this was an application specific model it's pretty much identical to the RT uh, we're gonna take this part and take this part so this battery is actually fucked I have taken it apart already as you can see but I want to show you guys to uh, show you guys the insides and we are going to harvest the parts out of it because the batteries are completely dead completely discharged and leaking and do not take a charge if you open that up it stinks like lithium I can't really explain what it smells like, but if you smell lithium, you know exactly what I mean. So I've already gone ahead and pulled out the communications cable, which I will show you. So there was only one coming out of it, because I suppose they only used one battery in, a, in the cart. So they had a cable coming out of one side, and they had the other plug uh, blocked off, just because they knew that there was only going to be one used in the cart, and they didn't expect it to be used for anything else. So this is what they used for the communications cable. It was uh, like an Ethernet standard, so like a Cat5 or Cat6. I don't know which one. I'm not sure if you can tell the difference by looking at this connector. But this is how it communicated with either the charger or the cart itself. I'm assuming it just communicated with the charger, but it may have uh, it may have communicated with the computer like directly and uh, you may have been able to access the diagnostic software and access the information from the battery directly from the cart I'm not sure how they had it set up but uh, yeah that's it so I went ahead and harvested that already but I'll show you guys the harvesting of the BMS because I also want to compare it to the original RT as well see if there are any differences which I don't think there is okay so moving on to the next one we have the XP series right in front of me I have the U1-12 XP and the XP series is a bit interesting it's the one I like the most but it's the most expensive to use and the reason being is because so this is the one that you want if you want to configure a lot of batteries together uh, to, I'm pretty sure it's like endless potential with how many batteries you can connect together in a system with this. So there's a 700 volt maximum for uh, XP series system. Uh, so each battery has, I believe it does have a BMS in it, but it relies on an external UVMS to communicate to all the batteries in the system for uh, module to module based balancing. Uh, so I'm assuming that's to make sure that all the batteries are balancing in a way that's not going to affect one another because without them communicating uh, the balancing of the one battery could cause, cause self-draining of the whole system. So with this, with the XP series, you have the UBMS that con connects, uh, communicates to all the batteries in the system which controls the balancing uh, of the internal BMS. 
so I'm assuming it's a uh, kind of like a sink so to make sure all the balance all the balancing systems are in sync and um, it's not causing I don't know really how to convey this the best way but it's not causing any uh, any fuck ups pretty much so there's three BMS UBMS UBMS's that you can get for your XP series system uh, so you have the low voltage version, the high voltage version, and the super high voltage version. So the low voltage version is, uh, so they're all U-BMS-LV-HV or dash SHV. If you ever want to go look these up, that's uh, the, model, the model naming that you would search up. So the low voltage is 10 to 150 volts. The high voltage is 100 to 450 volts, and the super high volt, super high voltage is 350 to 700 volts. So it's a 700 volt maximum system, like I mentioned. Uh, the amount of batteries you can parallel, I'm not sure. So you may be able to do a 700 volt system and maybe parallel with another whole 700 volt system. Maybe, maybe not. They might not allow you to parallel it. They might prefer you to go and get uh, the higher amp hour model and if you want even more than that you may be you may be able to but there may be some custom programming uh, that you may need uh, you may need to just contact them and uh, just so you guys know valence is no longer valence and so they were changed to lithium works but they're not even lithium works anymore they are now a company called leth ion leth ion L I T H I O N. So uh, they're moving up in the world. I really don't know what's happening to them. You know, I hope I hope they're just rebranded for the better. Uh, when I talk to when I talk, I called Lithium Works to get a user guide for this battery because I couldn't find any anywhere online because this is another application specific. And the lady told me that they were they underwent some major staff uh, staff changes and there might not even be anyone that works there that even knows how to work on this battery when I talk to her so uh, that gives you an idea of what's going on over there a lot of changes going on over at Balance so for the new batteries in the future I really can't tell you the support you're gonna get and these batteries are very very expensive now these days they used to be a lot cheaper but if you can get them second hand for a good deal go for it these are great great batteries I will say that but if you're looking for support you may not get exactly what you're looking for but I have gotten pretty good so support so far so I can't I can't say anything about that so continuing on past the XP series we have the application specific version of the XP series which is this one right here so I picked up a lot of these, as you can see, yeah, this and this, as you can see back there, I picked up a lot of these gray ones, the U, uh, the U1-12BMS, and these are application specific versions of the XP model. So the reason being is because there was only one battery used in the application so it was used in a floor scrubber by a company called Tenant so the floor scrubber used a single battery so instead of having a whole UBMS for just one battery they went ahead and made the a small BMS or a small UBMS into the battery because I believe there was already a BMS in the battery so I believe they added the UBMS management system for the uh, XP series, a smaller one, into this, so it can uh, it'll manage all of the balancing for this battery and everything that the UBMS usually would for a full system, and in in a normal XP series. So with that being said, there's two cables, like you would see on the RT series, but because I mentioned there was only one battery used in the application, these aren't for ponytailing. So one of these is your diagnostic interface which you're most used to uh, both of these are both of these ones on the RT and on the XP they're technically uh, defined the same as the diagnostic interface cables these ones uh, 
<laughs> and these ones. But these two, there's one diagnostic interface cable. And this one is actually called a system interface cable. So with the UBMS for the XP series, uh, there is a CAN bus, a major CAN bus connector on the actual UBMS that uh, you would use to communicate with. And that is how you would communicate with the UBMS and communicate with all of the batteries in the system. So it could control like four, four contactors uh, for uh, alarms and stuff, so uh, protection. So if it ever needs to shut off power from the charger or shut off power to the uh, discharge to the motor or whatever that the batteries are powering, the UBMS can uh, control these contactors. So with this one, the system interface, this is exactly what that is. So because there's a UBMS built in, this battery can actually control two contactors. So, to turn the BMS on, you connect pin 1 to the positive, and to put the battery into charge mode, you connect pin 2 and pin 1 to positive. So that's controlling the UBMS inside. So just like the UBMS for this one, in the CAN bus, in the, uh, in the, uh, because it was for electric vehicles and stuff. So instead of the CAN bus communicating with the UBMS for the XP series, it's communicating through here to the internal UBMS. So there's two contactor controls. The middle two pins uh, control the two contactors. You connect it to the negative coil. So those will switch off the charge contactor and the discharge contactor if need be, if there's ever an alarm situation. And I forget uh, what the last two pins do. or the last single pin does. I don't think it does anything. So yeah, you can't go and daisy chain these like you would with these it, because you may actually potentially destroy them. So, these are the ones that I have a lot of in a plan on still daisy chaining them together. Uh, if you hook up the diagnostic interface, if you make a, a T connector, you can actually hook up two of these diagnostic interfaces together from two of these gray ones together and hook it up to the communications cable and it will actually read both so in the future I'm going to try and get all of these connected together and uh, hopefully have them working together and maybe balancing together but I'm not sure so anyways guys that was a quick overview of all of the balance battery models if you guys enjoyed leave a like and subscribe I got plenty of stuff I'm going to be doing with these Valence batteries, so stay tuned. I just wanted to um, go over all the different models that I had very quickly, and this is pretty much all the Valence models. Now, like I said, this is the single size standard, but uh, it's just a size standard. It's pretty much all it is. I don't think there's uh, many features that are different with the different size standard, so everything that I said should ring true. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one. See ya.